What's up guys? Welcome back to G Reviews. This is going to be my first review of the 2021 car review season. I'm here at beautiful Eber Vester Chevy in Wilson, North Carolina, reviewing behind me a 2021 Chevy Tahoe with the Z71 package, finished in satin steel metallic. Stay tuned. First things first, let's talk about what's under the hood. This particular Z71 Tahoe has the 5.3 Ecotec 3 V8 under the hood, producing 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. A new feature for this motor is going to be the dynamic fuel management, which in the past only allowed the engine to go from eight to four cylinders. On this new 2021, it allows it to go all the way down to two cylinders. This particular one is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission and obviously has a four-wheel drive transfer case. This particular one with the Z71 4x4 is going to be up to tow 8,200 pounds. We're going to start here on the exterior of the vehicle. As you can see, new for 2021, we got a whole new front end. Uh, this is specific to the Z71 package. As you can see, you had a lot more ground clearance than you used to. They have the nice cutout in the front bumper for a little extra articulation and driving over rocks. Down below we have all red tow hooks. We have a plastic faux skid plate here, but then actually underneath you have a real metal skid plate. All right, coming up here we have this nice uh, piano black, gloss black grill. Nice blacked out bow tie, and obviously the Z71 package emblem. All right, you have all LED front end lights. LED headlights, uh, low beams, high beams. You have the daytime running light strip that goes around here, same as the 1500 pickups. You have the nice little grill, little gills here for airflow. Something that you might not see on the Z71 package is fog lights. As you can see, there are no fog lights anywhere on the front end. All right. Come up here to the hood. There's a nice power bulge in there and then it tapers down to the side. All right. We have some Goodyear uh, Trail Runner AT tires. All right, the size on these is 275 60R20s. So you have a nice gunmetal and polished look on this. All right, it's a good all terrain tire. This does have a slight lift, a little. Um, Puck style lift over the, the standard Tahoe's Z71 badge. Again, the new body style is going to have the side mirrors on the actual door and not on the A pillar. The blacked out Tahoe badge. Very nice looking, uh, all black running boards with really nice uh, textured grip on it. All right, for the 2021s, you're going to have um, the proximity keyless entry on all the four doors. You have some here and some here as well. All right, what I like again is all the, the pillars, the B and the C pillar, and even the roof rack is gonna be all blacked out to match uh, that Z71 package. Coming around here to the back, very nice looking rear end compared to the last generation. You're gonna have LED tail lights. You're going to have all your parking sensors. There's going to be four across the back. Okay. Again, the Tahoe badging and the Chevy bow tie on the back is going to all be blacked out for the package. Something new for this generation, you're going to have the, the windshield wiper. Actually, it's going to go up into the spoiler and not going to be sitting here on the back glass, which is great if you're in the snow. You don't want all that snow piling up and breaking the motor. All right, obviously down here, you're going to have the cover over your trailer hitch, which is a very nice feature. And obviously here's going to be where your spare tire um, winch hole is. All right, coming around the side, 
got the same gorgeous look as obviously the other side. Okay. Again, this is satin steel metallic. This thing is gorgeous. All right, so obviously here's the window sticker for this 21 Tahoe Z71 package. Uh, there's going to be your total right there. Not too, too bad compared to a lot of other SUVs on the market. Again, this is the 5.3 with the 10 speed and you got the satin steel metallic exterior and the Gideon Atmosphere interior. It's good for 16 city, 20 highway, 18 combined. This new 2021 has got the proximity keyless entry. This is what the key fob looks like on these new ones. It kind of has like a angled sort of a look to it, like a paddle. All right, obviously if you have this in your pocket, you're gonna come over here, push the button, and it's gonna unlock. Right off the bat, looking at this, you can tell that they definitely did a lot of work on the interior. Okay, as you can see, beautiful and stitched, soft touch materials. Here and here, actually this whole door panel, soft touch material right here, okay. Hard plastic down below, but that's standard on most uh, vehicles in this uh, price point. All your window controls, that. You have the beautiful Bose sound system. You have a water bottle holder and you have two storage pockets. Looking in here, again, this is the, the Gideon Atmosphere color interior, which actually, if you look at the satin and then the Gideon, it actually matches very nicely. All right, we're gonna hop up in here. All right. Like I said, since we're actually inside the building, I'm not going to be able to uh, start this thing up or do a test drive, but here we go. Very, very similar to the 1500 Silverados. Okay, you got all your cruise control selection, you got your radar, um, radar cruise, your voice commands. You have all your new stuff over here. You got all your auto stop starts, your uh, AC DC plugs, your four high, four low, four wheel drive auto. Coming over here, this is obviously new for this generation. Um, no more column shifter, no more console shifter. It's all push button shifting now. Drive, neutral, uh, reverse, and park. Okay. Some of these are going to be like neutral, it's going to be pushed down, and something like drive is going to be pull up. I know it's a little weird, it's going to be something to get used to, but that's the way the industry is going at this point. All right, you have this nice, nice size screen. Obviously, we're in demo, but you have your audio settings Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got your new trailering apps, um, which is great, but obviously nothing's hooked up, so it's not gonna really do a whole lot. All right, here we go. You got your cameras, okay? This particular Z71 is not gonna have the 360 camera, okay? You have your, your rear park assist lines, and you're gonna have your trailer, trailer uh, camera if you decide to get one. All right, so there's that. Back to that, obviously you have your Sirius XM, and my Chevy Link on Star Services. All right, let's come over here. You have all your physical, physical controls, which is nice. You have a household plug. Well, not a household plug. You got your uh, USB-C, USB. You got your heated and cooled seats right here. Dual zone climate. You have your um, phone charging pad. Two cup holders. You got this very nice uh, leather trim console. Here we go. Got your nice little cargo sliding tray here and very ample amount of storage down here. Got your SD card slot and again USB, USB C. Alright, let's throw this back in. And again, you got two cup holders right here. You have your nice LED interior lighting. Alright. Let's do this test right here. All right, it does have nice lights inside of the mirror. And these do actually telescope. Very nice, very nice. All right, on to the back. Again, even the rear doors have it. Locked, unlocked. All right, same nice uh, stitching in the back doors. Nice soft touch materials and obviously the nice wood grain here. You have two storage cubbies, obviously your window, and you have your unlock and lock buttons actually in the back seat as well. Got still you got your Bose speakers, okay? Again, that nice um, atmosphere colored leather seating. 
This particular one, it has the captain's chairs. All right, obviously you got your manual controls here. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with all that. It's kind of self-explanatory, but as you can see, it's gonna fold down nice and flat, just like those seats. Okay, getting up in here. All right, the seat right here was adjusted for where I was gonna sit. I'm five foot nine. Okay, I'm just getting the uh, Maroni out of the way. All right, and I'm gonna have about, I'm gonna say about four inches. Four inches, which is pretty ample. And this seat does uh, go back and forward a little bit. All right, we got the two cup holders, we got our climate control, and we do have two USBs back here, and you, there's where your household plug is. I don't know if you can see that on here, it's kind of dark. All right, again, looking around here, all right. Here I am sitting in the back. I have about three inches of headroom right here. So not too bad. And what I love about this is you have your AC vents up top. Um, a lot of vehicles are now going to AC vents that are kind of like over here on the side, but I still like this so I can blow the cold air right in my face where I want it. On to the back. It's got your automatic hatch in the back. Very nice feature. All right, here we go. This is where the seats all folded down. All right, here's some mats. Now this particular one is not equipped with the automatic, the automatic uh, rear seat. So this is going to be a manual. All right, so see that right there? Um, this new Tahoe for 2021 is actually going to have more storage behind the third row than the last gen, okay? That's pretty much where the seat's going to be, okay? And we still actually have about a good two feet of storage behind the third row seat, which is a great feature. All right, back here we got another household plug. All right, another great feature. Well, in the third row you're going to have a USB and another household plug, okay? You have tie downs, great feature. Okay, you have tie downs here, tie downs here, and you're actually going to have another little storage area right here. All right, you got your button right here. 